the last four and a half years that I've been here as a postdoc, I was looking at cervical spinal cord injury models in mouse and rat and looking at gene expression in some of them and also, more importantly, developing forelimb behavioral outcome tools that were not really there before. And now we can use these in a standardized method. And um, now I'm kind of bridging more into continuing a little bit of animal work and starting more of the clinical research program at UCI. But you can actually see and measure and quantitate how much of an effect is caused by what you did to the animal or what happened to the human. And um, those are really important because you have to have a measure to prove that what you did was significantly good or significantly bad. 50% of the quadriplegics said that regaining any type of arm and hand function was the highest priority to them. And um, about 30% of paraplegics said that regaining sexual function was the most important thing to them. And um, it could probably, in several of the basic scientists I talked to before that point, they would have said, um, oh, well, walking is most important to people with spinal cord injuries. And obviously that's not the case. Going from a complete injury to making them um, have sensory function or even motor function below the level of injury, that would require a significant amount of repair to occur. And so I don't know right now if we have anything that can do that much repair. And so that's where we need um, more sensitive measures that will um, pick up a statistically significant amount of recovery that really means something to the person's life but it doesn't make um, the trial fail because it's too high of a measure to reach.